Hey guys, it's Melanie Ham. Welcome back to my channel. It's another dark and gloomy day here in LA. I feel like it's so dark in here, but we need to get this video up. So here we go. Today's video is a crochet granny score stocking. Check it out. Pretty cute. Last year I wanted to do a stocking and I was having a little trouble with the pattern. I'll show you why right here. So you could see <laughs> it looks very sad very sad. So I was in the middle of working out this pattern and then I was going to bring this in and it just, it's not holding its shape very well. And I didn't have time to end up trying to fix it because then I don't know if you guys remember last December, I had to have emergency surgery and had to have my kidney removed. And then I was in bed for like six weeks. Needless to say this year, I wanted to make sure <laughs> we got a stocking in and I love that the granny squares really help it to hold its shape a lot better than that super sad version <laughs> from the first time around when I tried to do this. This video is gonna go over the construction of the stocking, how to do the cuff, how to sew it all together. The uh, granny square pattern is not gonna be included in this video. I've taught this kind of granny square several times already. So I'll put those videos in the description box. And if you wanna see how to do this exact one with this exact yarn, I did do a little bonus video and it's on my blog. So I will have that linked for you as well. Here's what this one looks like. It's basically just the traditional granny square. If you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. More holiday videos coming, more winter accessory videos, sewing and crochet coming. So make sure you're subscribed little bell so that you don't miss it and yeah let's get ready to crochet our stocking let's jump right in we are going to be doing the green square stocking you need one two three four five six granny squares but in order for your size to be about the same as mine it needs to be five inches and this is just like the standard granny square all right so first let's talk about the construction okay so we are going to be sewing these together and then i i created this little guy because i wanted to soften the edges a bit of the stocking so we're going to put one here in order to kind of make it a little bit softer feeling all of these are ready to go the tails are woven in and so the first thing we need to do is create our two panels. So we are going to sew this one and this one together. So the way that I like to do that, I'm gonna grab my white yarn and I'm just gonna make a long. So what we're gonna do, place our two granny squares right sides together. I know it's a little hard to tell with the fuzzy yarn, but we gotta do right sides together. You want the front to look like there's no stitching happening. So these, here these loops here we don't want to go through these because we want it to look like there's no stitching we don't want to see that stitch so that means we're going to focus on these outer loops here and here all right so i'm going to pull that yarn through and then i'm going to make a little knot i know sometimes crocheters don't like knots but i like security <laughs> So I like the knot. Okay. And then we're just going to go whoop, 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 a little whip stitch into these back loops. If you have another way that you like to sew these together, by all means do that. I have a video on three different ways to join granny squares. So I will link that as well. This is also kind of a, a refresher on other videos that I've already done. That's how we're going to make sure that the front doesn't look like there's any stitching happening. And this one here, these are the ones you want. All right, so here, let's see how it's looking. Like that, okay? So, so come down this way and then just travel it across and then go ahead and stitch this guy across here. Do that for the front and the matching back. So then we'll have two panels that are sewn together like this. So go ahead and do that. Press pause and I'll meet you. All right, so we have our two panels here. Now the next thing we need to do is attach this guy. So we're gonna sew in the same manner, just from this corner over and then up to this corner. So I'm gonna put it like this, start here, go across and then I'll fold it and I'll go across and I'll stop here but I'm gonna leave the yarn attached. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right, I've got it sewn here in this little corner. 
Now we're going to take our second panel and place that right sides together. This corner needs to go here. All right, so now I'm going to go back down, attaching this side and then this side, and then fastening off over here. So I'm going to kind of fold it and then I'll hold it like that. Make sure that that corner is staying in the corner. And then we'll work back up this side and I'm going to flatten it out so that we can get the right combination of stitches so that we can have that sewing still be completely hidden. Here's where we started. I'm just going to go ahead and tie these two ends together. All right, so here we go. Here's how it's looking. So now what we're going to do is do the exact same thing. We're going to place our right sides together. We're going to sew, remember here's our top, so we don't want to sew this closed. So we're going to start here, make our way down, and you can either travel across or cut it. Um, but here's one thing I want you to do while you are sewing. When you're sewing around this curve and this curve, you want to kind of pull it tight and tuck it in so that there's not as much of a corner edge. It becomes more rounded and more sock shape. Okay, so you can see even as I manipulate it with my fingers, we make this very rounded feeling and then keep this one nice and pointed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start here and then work my way around and then I'll just do another little spot here. It's easier for me to work right to left. So here's one of the ones that I want to really round. So I'm actually going to come in here a little further and I'm going to pull it tighter because I want kind of more of these stitches to be tucked in. I don't want them to hold their shape and be a square. It's subtle, you know, it's subtle. It's just one of those little things. Continue going around, round out this one. So up here. And then sew back up here. I will meet you here. We're going to put a little green cuff on it. And then we'll get this side sewn up and we are in the home stretch. We're almost done. Up here right into that corner. And then we will fasten that off. Let's flip it right side out. Yay, it's all sewn together. I'm going to make it a very simple double crochet so it'll speak to are grainy squares but it'll be nice and solid. So you're going to attach it to the one side because then we're going to do several circles around. We're going to pull up this loop chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch. So that means even these little chains here from the corner. So here's the top of the turning chain. And go right in the top of those stitches, just like we normally would.
instead of going in the top of that chain one, you can also just go right in here. Like that. That'd probably be a little bit easier. When we get around to here, we just want to smooth that out as best as we can. We're doing our double crochet. We're bringing everything around. We want it to be nice and flat. We want it to be nice and even. All right, I'm coming back around here to our first pass. I'm gonna go around. We're gonna slip stitch. Get that nice and secure. See how that's, we're getting it as evened out as possible. Chain three. And then we'll continue. So we'll do one double crochet stitch in each one of those previous double crochet stitches that we just made. There we go. I'm going to go around one more time, slip stitch, chain three, and then I'm going to go around a third time. And I'll meet you there. I'll show you what that looks like. And then we will attach our hook or our loop. All right, I finished with my cuff and I made a mistake in hindsight. I should have attached my cuff on the outside of the stocking because then I can just go ahead and go into making the loop right here, right at this join, rather than having to cut my yarn and reattach over there. So I will <laughs> distinguish that better in the written pattern. All right, we're gonna join it, pull it through, fasten that off, and we'll weave that in later. Now back over here, we will attach Little stitch, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. You know, make the loop however you want. I'm actually going to make mine a little different. You can make it just like that, it depends on how heavy your stocking is. So, this is a little bit more of a flimsy loop. So, I'm going to go back through and add a single crochet. So single crochet all the way back to the beginning. All right, so I single crocheted all the way back down to the cuff and then we'll loop this and then insert our hook. So fasten that off, weave in all of your tails and you are done.